Bueno, primero que nada, eh, gracias, gracias Eddie, gracias a toda la gente de acá de Inglaterra. Uh, well, first of all, thank you, Eddie. Thank you very much, and thank you to all the people of Manchester, of England. Um, I'm back, I'm back, and I am happy to be here. I know uh, once again, uh, I have everything, you know, all the fans, everybody against me. I'm in the backyard of my opponent. But look, that's why I trained hard, and that's why I'm prepared. And, and we respect Anthony tremendously, but I'm going to do everything in my power to take this. I'm not looking at this as I'm coming with the belts. I know I'm the champion, but I'm not coming in here uh, feeling like the champion. I'm coming in here feeling like the challenger because I know I have to perform, I have to win, and I have to be very clear to go back home with my belts. Tuvimos una preparación bastante bien. I had a tremendous camp. I started off my camp uh, at the end of December in Japan, conditioning and strength. From there, I had eight great weeks. I could say one of the best camps ever in Vegas. Great training, no injuries. And I'm, I'm anxious. I just can't wait to show on Saturday night and put it all together. And, and like I said, return home with my belts. Yeah, um, good afternoon, everyone. Yeah, going off um, past fights, I've always been better going into fights as the underdog. It's always good to win uh, my friends more money. <laughs> but um, listen, it's it's a tough fight on Saturday night. Um, I'm a realist. I know on Saturday night, I'm going to need to be the very best Anthony Crawler to beat Jorge Linares. And um, honestly, I've worked so hard. Well, not just so hard, I've worked smart over the last 10, 12 weeks. I've studied and studied the fight. And I really believe that I show the improvements that um, I've been shown in the gym. Then I get my belt back as well as the other belts. And uh, win a great fight with Jorge Linares on Saturday night. Yeah, I honestly, I always have. I've got great self-belief. And I knew how good I mentioned in the first uh, press conference from the first fight. I've been a fan of Jorge Linares. So I knew it was going to be tough. But now going into this second fight, listen, I come up short last time. It was close, but the right man won. But I, I see where I made mistakes. Jorge, I looked, think he made mistakes as well. But I believe I made more mistakes. And I believe that there's more room for improvement with me. And um, with that improvement, if I bring that into the ring Saturday night, like I just mentioned, then I believe it can be a different result. That's, that crowd's going to be bigger than ever. And um, I say all the time, but I'm, I'm the lucky one. I just get to dance under those lights. And it even might not look like it when it's rounds eight, nine, ten, however long the fight may go when you've got to dig deep. But um, I'm the luckiest person in there to be to be centre stage with my opponent. I'm looking across at those belts and there is, I just, I want them. I want them in my house. I want to take them home to my little boy. Um, they mean so much to me and it's a massive part. Like Rob's got, Robert's got the, uh, the Ring Magazine belt. You win that, you join an elite club. Not just that, I've become a two-time world champion. Um, Yogi's done that four times. He knows what it feels like. I've had, like you say, the career's been an absolute roller coaster. But winning on Saturday night, without doubt, listen, I remember saying it to you, you saying it to me, oh, you'll never get that night back of winning the world title. But then it got better when I defended it against this Barroso. But winning it back on Saturday night, without doubt, will be the highlight of my career and winning those belts as well. Thank you, Anthony.